Good morning, Grade 4. Welcome to our health class. Today, our lesson is about uses of medicines. Which of the objects shown in the pictures below are considered medicines? Okay, let's find out. This picture, this is what we call injectable medicine. However, this picture, as you can see, this is what we call syrup. And those pictures, they are tablets. This one is ointments. And these medicines that we could use every day for headache or stomach ache, we call them ointment. Medicines help us in many ways. What are the primary use of medicines? Medicines protect our body from diseases. Vaccines or immunizations are medicines that prevent the onset of diseases or at least minimize their severity. Two, medicines can prevent diseases. Medicines strengthen our body and make us more resistant to infections and diseases, right? So vitamin and mineral supplements are example of these. Number three, medicines treat or cure diseases. Because our body is naturally equipped with an immune system to fight of germs that causes or cause diseases. However, when our immune system becomes weak, medicines like antibiotics will help us fight illness and also infections. Medicines help us feel better when we are sick. Some medicines such as pain relievers like ibuprofen and methanamic acid do not necessarily cure diseases, but they help us feel better when we are sick, right? Like also creams or ointments relieve itchiness due to insect bites. And also examples of medicines that make us feel better. Medicines can help control chronic or long-term illness. Chronic illness cannot be cured totally. Patients need to take medicines to control their symptoms, right? Some examples of chronic illness are asthma, diabetes, also high blood pressures. Now let's go to the types of medicines. First one, we have non-prescription drug or over-the-counter, or we call it OTC. These are sold freely because they are considered generally safe, meaning to say anyone may take for the same symptom or problem. These medicines are rapidly available and may be bought by anyone in the drugstore. A doctor's prescrip prescription is not really required to buy them. OTC drugs may be bought off the shelf in a store or a pharmacy. Types of medicines we also have ibuprofen or alaxan. This one is a pain reliever that can be used for different kinds of body and muscle pain, including those that are caused by everyday activities. Another one is paracetamol or biogesic. This tablet is a painkiller that consists of paracetamol and nimesulide. It is used in the treatment of pain and fever. It is also used to provide relief from headaches, toothaches, 
sprains and strains as well. We also have this one, antihistamine or Benadryl. So this one reduced or blocked histamines. So they stop the allergy symptoms. If you are experiencing dust allergy like that or itchy nose, these medicines work well to relieve symptoms of different types of allergies. OTC medicines come with a drug fax label. These help consumers assess if the medicine is right for, for them or not. This also gives instructions on how to use the medicine safely. Since OTC medicines do not require doctor's prescription, it is essential that we read and strictly follow the instructions on the medicine label. When take, taken incorrectly, OC, OTC drugs can cause unpleasant side effects. So you have to remember to read at the back of your uh, the medicine that you have bought from the counter or over the counter. So you can see on the picture the drug facts. So now let's talk about prescription drug. Not all medicines are rapidly available and may be bought by anyone. So these prescription drugs are called such because consumers may only buy them in if they present a doctor's prescription. These drugs are commonly bought only at a pharmacy or a drugstore where a certified pharmacist can check the, the authenticity of the doctor's permission. So this is the example a uh, piece of paper that the doctor will write everything there the medicine that the doctor will prescribe and you will be able to buy that in the drugstore you cannot buy that if there is no prescription by the doctor types of medicine that a doctor usually prescribe zocor or simvastain so, Zocor or Simvastatin is a prescription medicine used to lower levels of bad cholesterols and to increase levels of good cholesterol. So, maybe your, um, the adults, usually they drink this or they take this as their maintenance as well. Another medicine is epoxin alpha or epogen are used to treat anemia anemia is a lower than normal number of red blood cells in people with chronic kidney failure or condition in which the kidneys slowly and permanently stop working over a period of time another one is amoxicillin the combination of amoxicillin and clavulanic acid is used to treat certain infections caused by bacteria, including infections of the ears, lungs, sinus, skin, and urinary tract. Amoxicillin is in a class of medications called penicillin, like antibiotics. It works by stopping the growth of bacteria in our body okay so we have uh, these steps to follow take your medicines strictly as prescribed properly dispose any unused or expired prescription medicine tell your doctor about all medications you are taking including over-the-counter drugs keep your prescription medicine secure at all times and out of reach of children Consult a doctor or a pharmacist about which medicine to take, especially if we are not fully aware of possible effects. So remember, kids, that prescription drugs are ordered for a must for and must be strictly used only by the patient to whom it was prescribed by the doctor. So if we insist on taking prescription drugs without a doctor's concern or prescription, we are taking risk and may suffer from graver illness or adverse side effects. 
we can do our part in preventing prescription drug misuse or abuse. So that would be all for today, grade 4. I hope to see you in our next meeting. Have a good day and God bless. Bye!